Hello everyone. Welcome to the online lecture of vehicle testing and homologation. I am Milan Trivedi, assistant professor at LG Institute of Engineering and Technology. Basically, from certain few classes, we are discussing about the second chapter that is engine fuel system and the emission testing. Now, in today's lecture, we are going to continue with our last topic under the exhaust gas measurement that is a smoke measurement. Now, we need to understand why we need to actually measure the smoke which is present inside the gas because that is actually giving you a number of different different ideas about the engine working part as well, right? If this kind of smoke is present, this much amount of smoke is present and this kind of problems are associated with the engine, you can get the direct indication of that different different parameters. So, we need to have a proper measurement of the smoke density of the exhaust gases. So, we need to have a proper instrument in order to measure the smoke density. So, for that we are having a smoke meter. What is smoke meter? It is an instrument which determines the smoke density in the exhaust gases emitted by the engine system. Now, that smoke density is nothing but the density of smoke which is present in the exhaust gas. Density is actually nothing but the mass per unit volume. Say for example, 1 cubic centimeter of volume we, which we are taking of the exhaust gas, then what is the mass of that particular smoke inside that particular 1 cubic centimeter of sample gas? That is nothing but it is a smoke density. So, let us have an outlook of the different main reasons of presence of smoke which I was talking about, right? The prime indications which we get from the smoke value is that if smoke is present in a larger quantity then the, it is a direct indication of the incomplete combustion. Now naturally it will result out into the formation of un unburned hydrocarbons that will lead to this uh, incomplete combustion. Second one reason is for presence of smoke is the overall filling of the crankcase with the oil. The third reason is a incorrect grade of oil use. Right. If we are replacing, that is why some of the car manufacturers are actually not allowing to replace the oil at the different different service stations. The prime reason is that the naturally the specified oil only you need to use. If you are using apart from that particular oil, then it may result out into the formation of some density. The last reason can be the worn out cylinder or a crankcase leakage. Right? If that is present, then obviously it can result out into the formation of the smoke. Right? But we need to actually evaluate how much amount of smoke is present in that. So, for that uh, smoke density measurement, we are having this particular setup. The extreme end, that leftmost corner, is actually indicating the particular exhaust gas pipe. In that particular exhaust gas pipe, we are attaching a probe. Now, this probe will suck the different gases and it will pass through this particular cylindrical arrangement. This uh, couplers are uh, two different couplers are there. Both the couplers are having a inside hollow section. Through the bottom coupler, only the exhaust gas is allowed to raise upward. In the up, up, upward, upward coupler, we are having this kind of provision. In between these two, a filter paper would be there. This filter paper would be allowed to feed through the different kind of roller arrangement. This roller arrangement, when it is rotating, it will um, pass this particular filter paper. Once it is there in between two different couplers, it is uh, required to be kept steady. Then for certain time duration, the exhaust gas will allow to pass through this particular filter paper. So, the strain marks of that uh, particular smoke would be remain present on that particular filter paper and the remaining gases would be allowed to raise upward and would pass through this particular upward, upward coupler. Right? Now, once this after a certain time duration, this filter paper would again pass through this detector region. That is the main part of our particular system, which will actually measure the amount of smoke present. How does it measure? That I will show in the next slide. But this particular filter paper would actually measure through which we can measure the amount of smoke. Once it has been measured, it will allow to pass on this particular different drum that will again roll back and would be thrown away in the trash region, right? So, the filter paper is constantly rotating, only at the test region it is keeping at a hold condition and two couplers which we are using, 
which is been this coupler would be pressing the particular filter paper gases would be passing through the filter paper and would be releasing right from where does this particular gas comes through the particular exhaust gas pipe we are attaching the probe through which the gas would be allowed to pass now this is a setup diagram but we need to understand how this particular detector works right so in this particular detector as you see we are having one this reflectance mirror we are having one light source and at the bottom part we are having filter paper so what we have done is this is actually 180 degree view of the above one so filter paper is at the bottom portion above which we are having this reflector mirror so once we are ignite, uh, igniting this particular light source the amount of light source will be passing through the filter paper and some of the light would be coming back to the reflectance mirror but the reflectance mirror will again throw back light to this particular filter paper so what will happen once the light is actually passing through this particular filter paper some of the light will transmit back to this uh, particular filter paper it will transmit to the outer region and most of the light would try to reflect back because of the strain marks of this particular particular that uh, uh, filter paper right because smoke would be attached with that that smoke would try to reflect the light back so we are actually measuring the reflectance value through this particular setup so of the normal filter paper what is the reflectance value that would be measured and after uh, passing the gas, different gases what is the reflectance value that would be measured that will actually give you the value of filter smoke number so filter smoke number is actually given as 1 minus r dash b divided by r dash c so this r dash b is actually the reflectometer value of the blackened filter that is when the exhaust gas is allowed to pass and r dash c is actually the reflectometer value of the clear filter right so once we are having these two values we can calculate the amount of smoke which is present in this particular gases now that's all about that now let us understand the offset apparatus this is one of the most important apparatus to understand in this vehicle testing and homologation. But some of the chemistry part is involved in this particular setup part. So let us first of all understand the setup part of this particular offset apparatus. Firstly, we are having three different pipette which is attached with the three different cock. Apart from that, we are having this particular burette in which the water would be capped. This burette is actually attached with the water leveling bottle suppose some of the liquid is present in this particular burette and if we are raising this water bottle upward then what naturally would happen is the liquid which is present in the burette will try to reach to the particular pipette region and once if we are uh, leveling this water down suppose this water bottle we are keeping it in a downward condition then the amount of liquid which is present in the particular pipette region will try to come under this particular burette part right so we are having this three pipette we are having burette and one leveling bottle apart from that three different cocks which is attached or valve which is attached with the pipette and the exhaust valve which is at the extreme end so this is a construction part now let us understand the working principle this three pipette is having a three different different chemical solutions pipette number one is having a potassium hydroxide solution pipette number two is having a pyrogallic solution and the pipette number three is having a cuprous chloride mixture right so what does the ten, uh, tendency that the different different gases is having that we need to evaluate right firstly we are taking a sample gas that is an exhaust gas inside our chamber of a known quantity say for example 100 cc of gas has been taken then the valve this valve will be kept closed as well as at the exhaust exhaust gas exhaust region we are having that valve so that particular 100 cc of gas would remain under this particular chamber itself now this particular measuring burette is filled with that particular 100 cc of gas this gas would be un, uh, under observation we are keeping this leveling bottle down so this 100 cc of gas is present in this burette uh, measuring burette right at that time the valve number 1 2 3 present at the pipette number 1 2 3 would be closed right then what we are actually doing is we will open the pipette number 1 valve once we are opening that valve then we are raising this bottle upward water leveling bottle would be raised upward 
when we are raising this water upward that 100 cc of exhaust gas would try to pass on this pipette number one which is having a solution of potassium hydroxide now this potassium hydroxide is having a tendency to absorb the amount of carbon dioxide which is present so it will what it does it do is that will absorb all the carbon dioxide which is present in that particular exhaust gas right then once we are raising that water upward again then sorry when once we are raising this water water downward that will try to take away all the gases from this pipette back into this particular measuring bullet then you will notice that instead of 100 cc now only 80 cc indication is there in this particular exhaust gas so what does that value indicate that 20 cc difference is been the value of the carbon dioxide which is present and that has been absorbed by the potassium hydroxide now we will close this particular wall number one and we will open the wall number two that is having a solution of pyrogallic solution and we will repeat the same procedure we will raise the water bottle upward so amount of exhaust gas will pass into the pipette number two which is having a pyrogallic acid solution this pyrogallic acid is having a tendency to absorb the amount of oxygen which is present right once we are again uh, uh, raise, uh, leveling down this particular water bottle the amount of exhaust gas will come back from the pipette number two into this particular measuring burette. But instead of that 80 cc volume, now if you are noticing that instead of 80 cc, it is indicating 70 cc. So that 10 cc difference is actually nothing, but it is a indication of the volume of gas of oxygen, which is present in the exhaust gas. Now we will close this wall number two and one we will open the wall number three, which is having a potassium hydroxide solution. Now, this potassium hydroxide solution is having a tendency to absorb the amount of carbon monoxide present, right? So we will raise the bottle upward. The gases will pass into this particular third burette. Now this third burette will absorb all this particular carbon monoxide element. Once it has been absorbed, we will the lay, uh, lower down this particular water bottle so all the gas will again come back to this particular measuring burette right but instead of that 70 cc you will note that it is indicating 50 cc itself so that 20 cc difference is nothing but it is a indication of carbon monoxide which is present inside the particular gas chamber right the remaining 50 cc would be the mixture of all the different gases but through this particular technique we can easily measure the carbon monoxide carbon dioxide and the oxygen gas which is present inside the exhaust gas that's all about today's presentation thanks for watching